by the time uh, Australia is breaking on New Vision Radio or Booker Day Radio, she has already saturated on social media. I mean, if uh, General Koch has died uh, by nine, by a few minutes later, information has saturated across the country and globally. Now, that presents a, a real challenge for the journalist then. Can he go on his smartphone and send out a WhatsApp message to 100 people? My boss has died. You know, before you know, that message has saturated to a thousand people. Even before it had come to the media, to the new vision. That's now the challenge the, the journalist faces. For the media to remain relevant, it must be able to adapt to these changes. But most important, it can only remain relevant if people believe that it's the only source of reliable information, uh, truthful, accurate information. Because whereas the, 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 the distribution of, of, of news has been opened up wide, a lot of it is fake news. You know how many people have been announced, pronounced dead uh, before they have died. So I think society also knows that a lot of information saturating is fake. So they still come to New Vision to say, is it true? They still look at to the, 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 the journalist. Even the people who have been calling me from time to time from the town, uh, asking about something, if they have an argument, they call you and say, we're having an argument here uh, over this. Tell us, what is the true position? Because they trust the journalist is more informed and, he, and he's knowledgeable and he knows. So the word of a journalist is, a, is, a, is authoritative and authentic. So the challenge of the journalist of today and tomorrow is to ensure that they remain the authentic source of information. Mm -hmm.